<laughs> Crouching down on the dusty floorboards of an old abandoned farmhouse, I carefully peek outside. A green gla grassy slope leads down to the edge of the lake, but I'm not admiring the scenery. My eyes are peeled, looking for the slightest sign of movement. At any moment, enemy soldiers could happen upon us, turning this peaceful scene into an explosion of bullets and bloodshed. I glance over at my squad mate. We gotta keep moving, he says. That storm, it's gonna be on top of us any minute. And he's right. As much as I hate to leave the relative security of this hiding spot, I know that we are directly in the path of that violent storm. And if we stay here, we won't survive. I grab my rifle, my backpack, and we carefully sneak out the back door. Harps pounding, knowing this will all be over soon, one way or another. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, yes, that scene I just described actually happened to me. And yes, it was inside of a video game. <laughs> It's a, game, yes, new games. it's a game I'm currently addicted to called Battlefield 5 Firestorm. It is the latest in a string of Battle Royale style games. The most popular one right now is, is a game called Fortnite. Has anybody heard of Fortnite? Mm -hmm. Maybe about half the room. Have any of you actually ever played Fortnite? One person. Two, one, two? One person. Okay, two? Most of you have not, which is why I'm talking about this, because I'm supposed to give a speech about a subject my audience is not familiar with. So I will be covering Battle Royale style video games. <laughs> now, my objective here is not to convince you to go out and start playing these games, because to be honest, you would suck at them. Uh, <laughs> no offense, but unless you've spent a few years playing online multiplayer first person shooters, Ken looks very offended. Uh, there, there's a very steep learning curve. If you jumped into one of these games now, you would get completely frustrated. So my objective is simply to give you a better understanding of what these games are. I'll be covering the definition of what a Battle Royale game is, I'll explain what's so appealing about these games, why they're so popular, and I'll share a little bit about the history and the rise in popularity of these types of games. So first off, what is a Battle Royale game? Well, the basic premise is you and 99 other people are dropped into a deserted island, and these aren't just computer-generated opponents. These are actual people that you're playing with online. You start out the game with nothing, and you have to run around trying to find resources, guns, ammunition, armor. And the entire time, the size of the map is shrinking. This is usually represented by a, a storm, or a forest fire, or a gas cloud that's gradually closing in on you, forcing all of the players towards a central location. When you run into someone, it's basic first-person shooter rules. Kill them before they kill you. But what's unique about these games is if you die, you're out. That's it. You're eliminated from the game. Unlike a lot of other games where you die, you come back, you respawn, you keep playing. In this one, it's game over. So that's what's really appealing about these games is the stakes are so high. If you make just one mistake, one person gets the best of you, you're out. You've got to start completely over again. So the whole time your eyes are glued to the screen, you're on the edge of the couch, sometimes I start shaking it. It's completely <laughs> nerve-wracking, but it's totally thrilling. I love that rush. And so I think that's why these games are so popular. So that's a little bit about how they work, why people like to play them. Next, I'd like to share a little bit about how these games got their start and the current state of the industry. All of these games uh, draw their inspiration from a Japanese movie that released in 2000 called Battle Royale, appropriately. Right? Uh, it's about a group of teenagers who are sent to a remote island as a form of punishment by the Japanese government. They are forced to battle each other to the death until there's only one left standing. Just like in a video game where you die, you're out, and the person who actually wins is the last person left in the game. The first major video game release to adapt this theme was a game called Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, or PUBG for short. It was released in March 2017, so this whole genre is only a couple years old. It's still pretty new. This was a revolutionary game attracted about 50 million players. A few months later, another game came out, Fortnite. And this was immensely popular for a few reasons. Number one, it's completely free to download and play. Number two, the visual style is kind of cartoonish. It's not super violent. So it appeals to a younger crowd as well as an older audience. Massive appeal. On top of that, they added this 
this feature in the game where you can build these towers and structures inside the game, a lot like the game Minecraft, if you've heard of that one, another really popular game. Put all of that together, and you end up with this immensely popular game, 250 million players worldwide. To put that in context, the Super Bowl, the most watched show on television, is viewed by 100 million people. Wow. So, this dwarfs that in comparison. After Fortnite, no, after Fortnite came out, a bunch of other video game developers started jumping on the bandwagon. and people that already had huge video games and wanted to tap into this market. So Call of Duty came out with their blackout mode, and then at the game Titanfall, they came out with another version called Apex Legends, and then Battlefield, the game that I like to play, released their Firestorm mode just uh, about a month ago. In all, according to Business Insider, in 2019, Battle Royale-style video games are expected to earn $20 billion this year alone. There's a huge market, and people are obsessed with these games. They're not just playing them, they're actually paying to watch other <laughs> people play them. That's how much we love these games. The number one Fortnite player is this guy, Richard Blevins, from Chicago. <laughs> He's 28 years old, goes by the alias Ninja. His YouTube channel has 22 million subscribers. People love watching him play. To put that in context, our Toastmasters Club, Rosa <laughs> Rappers, we have our own YouTube channel. We have 47 subscribers. <laughs> Not quite ninja numbers, but I'm sure we'll get there. Uh, and according to CNN, last year, Ninja earned over $800,000 per month. Oh, God. What? That's nearly $10 million just from playing video games. Me too, bad. It's wow. insane. Man. Yeah. Wow. Now, I know at the beginning I said I wasn't going to try to convince you to start playing these games, but seeing the dollar signs in your eyes right now, I know a few of you are thinking about it. Uh, so that, yeah, it's, it's crazy how popular these things are. In summary, Battle Royale games are the hottest trend in video games right now. People are attracted to the thrilling, last man standing style of gameplay, and multiple developers are trying to tap into this $20 billion market. What does all of this mean for you? Well, at the very least, the next time you hear a teenager mention <laughs> Fortnite, PUBG, or Ninja, you can at least, you don't have to pretend to know what they're talking about. <laughs>